Hey everyone, this is Jason312. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Where we left off, uh -huh. I believe we had just finished the uh, orbit tool mission. I could be wrong. Oh no, escape the atmosphere. That's the mission we just did. Okay. You're not very coordinated, are you? Uh, with me is Sci Fi, in case you didn't already know. Uh -huh. Okay, that's why I got confused. Okay, so first and foremost, we're going to upgrade the astronaut complex so we can actually do EVAs in space. Without our helmets. Without our helmets. Really? Yep. I don't know what kind of space you're going into, but uh, I think helmets are a mandatory thing. Not in every space. Go ahead and upgrade the launching pad too so we can have bigger or heavier ships. Okay, let's look at missions. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. These two I still can't do yet. Splashed down at Kerbin? Why would you test an engine while you're splashed down in Kerbin? Why would you name the engine Thud? It's a good question. Well, actually, all of those are good questions. So that's. That's. I guess we can do that one? Why would you want to name your engine Swivel, either? <laughs> it's the LVT-45 Swivel liquid fuel engine. And you're only supposed to haul it. You're not even supposed to test burn it? <laughs> okay. I, I, you know, um, I don't know what to say to that. I genuinely don't know. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, um, what's this mission? Three t tourists. Suborbital, suborbital, suborbital. So I can do those. Isn't it a little early in your career to be taking on tourists? Not really. Just means I have to build a different type of rocket. And not crash in the water? That's very innovative design there. Right? Well, I said three. I gotta have one pilot. <laughs> Just make one of the tourists drive. Oh yeah, that'll end extremely well. Exactly. I just—it looks weird. <laughs> it looks weird. <laughs> well, it's not supposed to look. Uh... It kind of looks like it would drag you down. Because the air would be going, what? And then... <laughs> okay, they all have their own parachutes now. <laughs> you should have them all detached from each other. Except the parachutes then wouldn't deploy it because tourists don't know how to deploy the parachutes. All you're supposed to be doing is transporting them, right? You're not supposed to land safely? No, we're supposed to land safely, oh, unfortunately. <laughs> Wait, unfortunately? I mean, fortunately! I am sorry! I'm not- I'm not trying to be a demon here, killing innocent Kerbals. Not at all. Of course, I'm not gonna pretend that they're innocent either. Are we gonna, uh, test... Uh, viruses on these tourists? 
No, we're not gonna create the zombie apocalypse. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I don't want to create that. I was just saying, like, create some vaccines or anything, just while we have them in the ship. Nope. We, we can have the goo containers on the outside. Just nope. Not gonna happen. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That is not going to be a thing. I think those fins are a bit excessive, but, you know, you never know. Well... <laughs> I mean, I do have two gigantic explosive rockets right beside the... capsules. <laughs> Four capsules are stacked precariously on top of each other. <laughs> that should be the tourist view, is just the fuel tanks. <laughs> That's just cruel and unusual punishment right oh, there. Uh, in case you can't see, there's this glorious mountain on your right side. <laughs> Excuse me, Captain. Uh, all I see is a fuel cell. Fuel. That's a fu That's an. In that's a booster. It's a solid fuel booster. It's not a fuel cell. Oh, it's still fuel in it. Yeah, it's just fuel in it, but it's not a fuel cell. Okay, we're going to see how. Sp how bad this can fail. I will stand back in the field over here. <laughs> I see you over there. Alright, let's get this shot. <laughs> oh, dang, I missed. Oh, we should not be we should not be in charge of any space programs. <laughs> Especially those with daughters. They look terrified. <laughs> Rightfully so. The other one looks calm. <laughs> yeah. He's like, uh, well, now he's getting worried. He's like, uh, <laughs> get a little hot in here, guys. What about you? Nope, we're perfectly fine. I'm standing 500 meters away and it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Eject the boosters now. Oh yes, yeah, so let's cause a... <laughs> okay, now we're gonna turn to the right. 90 degree vector. Stay on the 90 degree vector. Now if you look at your left window, you will see a sailing ship. Oh, sorry, it's gone. Actually, how about this? Let's do this. Make it a little harder. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm gonna go into the second pod up here. Crowd the next tourists. Okay, I actually need to see what I'm doing now. Anybody hear coffee percolating? Coffee percolating? <laughs> Okay, well, halfway through our uh, fuel, and we're going to achieve our goal. Whether or not this thing lands safely is a whole nother ball game, though. <laughs> so we're just going to time warp. These three did sign all the paperwork, right? I think so. I have a couple of blank papers here. Oh no! I hey, thought they, I they thought you were the I thought you were in charge of getting their signatures. I was holding the camera. Really? <laughs> you're you're failing me. Yep. Uh, looks like someone didn't pay up their life insurance. Oh, that's just wonderful. All right, which one of you was it? The happy one. Look. Except uh, there's a pro <laughs> there's a problem with that. He's our pilot. <laughs> well, uh, I guess that wouldn't. Well, it would be a problem, but you know. Well, if his isn't paid up, he doesn't care. He's gonna crash anyway. Good point. 
Okay, we're gonna use the fuel here and slow down. No, we need to speed up. Turn around. No, no, we're not. <laughs> we are not speeding up. I've had bad experiences with speeding up. We should get this thing into fourth gear. We're dealing with rockets. Not car engines. Oh no 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 Whoopee You're not helping me I can't even pull out of this You didn't put the right heat shields on this right Uh heat shields Oh no! Uh -oh. I'm paying attention to you. I'm <laughs> uh, it's your fault. You didn't get the paperwork signed. You're the one flying the ship. I was just taking pictures. Okay, let's try this again. Revert to launch. <laughs> hilarious. So hilarious. Okay, everybody. Welcome back from the dead. Are we good? You strapped in? Got a wonderful view of the rockets? Hey, you better get that third guy back in. He's trying to climb out. Oh, uh, no, he's not. I don't see some. Oh, there he is. Okay. His door's not closed. <laughs> His door's closed, trust me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh. Captain, we got a stowaway. Yeah, he's big and fuzzy. And I think I'm looking right at him. Oh, I jumped into the cargo bay. You didn't put a cargo bay on this thing, did you? No. Well, I'm in someone's cargo bay. It's right the fuel booster. <laughs> Ooh, that was quick. Jump the airlock. So, uh, how's the weather down there? Um, it's a little chilly. <laughs> I hope you know you're about 15 kilometers from the ground. I've already hit the ground. How did... What did you do? Pack a parachute? Yeah. Lucky. Okay, let's try this again. Now I need to go run to the Hubble telescope so I can see you guys. We don't have a telescope. How am I seeing you right now? That's a good question. I ran to the observatory. What observatory? Are you are you hiding in the tracking station? Maybe. Okay. You know, there's a couple little blips going towards you. Yeah, I think those would be called asteroids or meteorites. You're the big green thing, right? Two little red things coming towards you. Okay, you need to lay off the coffee. I haven't had coffee in three days. Then in that case, for the sake of everyone's life, drink some coffee. <laughs> Why? I'm on the ground. <laughs> I'm not flying that thing. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Commencing fuel burn. Tourist number two is uh, he's got high blood pressure. 
His heart beats so erratic. He'll be alright. I think that was a flame out. Sorry, I messed with some wires. Why would you do that? <laughs> Well, we're falling at a comfor comforting 500, 600 meters a second. Okay, Captain. What is your plan of safe return? Deploy the parachutes before I hit the water. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem very detailed. It's not very detailed. It didn't need to be. Little piece of advice. Hit the parachutes when you hit 10 meters off the ground. That sounds like a horrible <laughs> idea. <laughs> Oh, tourist number two's heart just stopped. No, I, th I think the oxygen just hit, got to his brain. <laughs> Better apply some electroshock to that, that terminal. Oh, this is going to end badly. Oh, no heat shields. Uh... Come on, come on, come on. Probably should deploy your chute sometime soon. I would love to, except I can't. Dude, you're gonna break up. No, 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 no! And... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we are being mean to these poor Kerbals. Me? <laughs> You're the one who keeps crashing. <sighs> okay, one more time. It can do. I know. I know this design works. I've done it before. I think you need to add a cargo bay. I don't need you to be a stowaway. Thank you. Okay, bye. Oh, I'm ten meters away. So <laughs> only ten. Yeah, it's a little warm down here. I think you're a little crispy. Can, can you uh, go higher, faster? Nope. It's still a little warm down here. <laughs> I need some sunscreen. <laughs> Maybe some skin grafts. <laughs> Medic! Sorry, wrong rocket. What rocket are you trying to explode? Oh, there was one across the over there by that mountain over there. I hit the button, but nothing happened. I didn't uh, place any explosive on it. What? I didn't do that. Oh, security. I had nothing to do with that. Uh, Mission Control, uh, I think at this point we need to replace our spotter. He's going kind of crazy. Hey, don't come near me. <laughs> I'll hit this other button. I have no idea what it, what, what it does, but let's find out. Let's not and say we did. Seems our team has been stranded at 80,000 meters. Number two looks dead. Tourist number one seems a little too excited. <laughs> He's the pilot. He's not a tourist. The one in the orange is the pilot. Oh. Yeah, I can see somebody watching this video and getting completely confused on what's what's going on here. That is my mission in life. Clearly that clearly. 
Hey, now they're a little over uh, overjoyed. Uh, I think you need to flip it over. Why would I need to flip it over? It caused some mayhem, some chaos. What if I don't want to cause mayhem or chaos? Well, you're supposed to be. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Providing this be a mem memorable flight. I think you should activate the parachutes now. Oh yes, that would be a brilliant idea. Let's do that. Yay! Oh, ha! Ah. <laughs> Sorry, that was that. What that button does? Sorry. I forgot I wired to that. Thanks. <laughs> You know, uh, you should have added at least four more bolts to that design. That was a fun little tumbling experience. That could have gone wrong real quick. Lucky for us, it didn't. Uh, our camera feed's messing up a little bit. Are you okay up there? Yep, just fine. Uh, you're getting a little close to the ground. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I got a bigger problem. Uh, your parachutes are malfunctioning. <laughs> You're not supposed to layer them like that. <laughs> you better cut a few of those strings. I am not cutting any strings, no. Falling at a very, very slow 3.5 meters per second. I'm pretty sure tourist number three has whiplash. <laughs> tourist number one and two seem to be have broken arms. What? Sorry, my microphone is malfunctioning. I mean, they have broken arms. That's what you. <laughs> uh. I do apologize for all this craziness that's going on. <clears throat> I think I think Sci-Fi has had just a little too much coffee or something, Mountain Dew or something. Possibly Mountain Dew. Possibly. And crash. We're not gonna crash. Looks like you separated, though. No, we're, we're all still together. See? It works! I wasn't wrong. This design does work. Except it broke. It broke twice. That was because <laughs> you kept distracting me, and I wasn't focusing on what I was supposed to be doing. <sighs> but all three tourists went on their tour of suborbital flight and came back without any problems. Well, we're not ca we're not counting the first two times. Well, two and a half tourists made it back. One, two, three. <laughs> One broke their arms, or well, two of them broke their arms. One had a heart attack while he was up there. <laughs> Where are you getting this information from? Uh, we had them hooked up to the uh, EMG. Wait, is that what the medical thing is? Don't you mean EKG? You got an EKG machine. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. I I'm pretty sure that was not what happened. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, now we're going to orbit Kerbin without any tourists. We'll just have our pilot or scientist, whoever I decide to take. We're going to take away this monstrosity. No, I want to keep this. Let me keep this. You. Really? You're not going to let me keep? Fine. I will rebuild it from scratch. I'll this. go get the metal scratch. <laughs> We're not building a rocket. Where, where'd you put the welder? Uh, I think I forgot it at home. I'm not gonna go very far if this doesn't stick. Oh, we'll go far enough. Far enough. 
<laughs> you at least have the right size bolts. What bolts? We're using glue. glue. <laughs> Fireproof glue? Yeah. Are, are you sure? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> now why is there 50 boxes of wood glue back here? <laughs> oh, oh, that's what it is. Who ordered the wrong glue? Uh, I think the general did that. What general? We don't report to anybody. <laughs> well, it says there's a General West right here on the on the form. Okay then. I I have no idea what that's about, but I if think you someone forged the name. Um well, that complicates things, doesn't it? Okay, gotta make sure. Wait, do I have a heat shield on that? I do not. Let's put a heat shield on that. <laughs> Let's be smart. <laughs> Are you using the right adhesive for that heat shield? It's an abulator. What kind of adhesive would you use? Nitrogen. You're asking for an explosion. Yay. <laughs> Why? Explosions are fun. As long as they don't hurt people. I hope that didn't make me sound like a pyromaniac. I'm pretty sure it just did because it just got you recording you saying that and then asking that right after so you know <laughs> I'm pretty sure at this point you're pretty much obligated to be sounding like one be to be sounded like one I'm obligated to start a fire I didn't no I did not mean st no, never mind I'm just gonna stop right now Okay, I can put four more parts on here. How about four bolts? Do you even have parachutes? Bolts? We don't need no stinking bolts. Okay. We should be good. Possibly. We'll find out. We'll find out real quick if this doesn't work. Come back next season. Hey, stop it. <laughs> We're not doing an outro just yet. <laughs>
What do you mean unidentified aircraft? I'm the only aircraft up here. You have no markings. I'm in space. I am a spaceship. Thank you. Have a nice day. Slowly floating away. Fire rockets! Fire in a minute. Wait till we're about right there. Actually, I can go ahead and fire. <laughs> And we are successfully in orbit. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to wrap this up here. If you guys like this video and the uh, comedic entertainment that me and Sci-Fi have provided for you today, please go ahead and like, that video, like this video down below. Click that like button. Pardon the fact that I can't talk. Anyway, subscribe to my channel. There will be plenty of more. And above all, guys... And gals, thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. See you in the future. Bye-bye.